hi guys hope you all are doing so well it's a beautiful day a beautiful day that the lord has made and we're going to rejoice and be glad in it i hope you all are doing so well i have a very interesting topic that i will be discussing with us on this beautiful day so without wasting much of your time let's just dive in into today's video I start this video if you have not subscribed please subscribe like and share and don't forget to click on the notification bell that will enable you to know whenever I upload a new video yes so many people watch me but I have also noticed that they just watch and go without subscribing please subscribe okay thank you so much for subscribing disclaimer I would love to say this this video is not to tell you that uh, you should not enjoy your marriage or there are no good marriage. There are good marriage. There are positive marriage and there are beautiful relationship. Okay. I want you to get that before I dive into what I want to share with us. If you check in our society today, a lot of things are happening. A lot of toxic relationship. People, you know, destroying one another, hitting one another. It is not right. It is not right. Like I always say on this channel, relationship is not a do or die affair. You don't go into a relationship where the person will destroy you or hurt you or do what is not right for a, or do what is not right and you are still in that relationship. It is not a do or die affair. If you are in a relationship and the relationship is stressing you, nothing stops you from walking away okay nothing stops you from walking away some of some people that a lot of things has happened today if you ask them they will say eh, they were in their relationship because of their children they're in a relationship because of what people will say people will say eh, or they're in a relationship because of family i've heard people tell me eh, how can i divorce this person in my in my in, my, in their family nobody has ever divorced see you own your life. That nobody has ever divorced in your family doesn't mean that if you find yourself in something that is not good for you, that you will remain there just to satisfy family. Remember, family is important. But there are some things you need to, you know, you don't need to accept. That you, are, that you come from a particular, especially those of us in Africa, and I know it also happens to every other part. If, you're in, if, you're, if you find yourself in a situation that has never happened in your family before, walk away. It is not a generational course. Walk away from it. Okay? Walk away. If you're, in, if you're in a relationship with somebody and the person does not support what you do, the person is jealous of what you do, the person does not... Uh, he's always angry because you are achieving more than him, or the other way around, or you are, or you as a man, your wife is jealous because you are achieving more than her, or the woman you are married to a man, and the man is jealous because you are achieving more than him, and he, you know, there's jealousy, there is bitterness, there is anger, there is negativity in that relationship. Please walk away. I want to encourage you this morning that anything that you are into that does not make you happy, that does not satisfy you, that you are not comfortable with, or you are in a you are with a partner that does not, you know, he's jealous of what you do. He's so angry when he sees you uh, achieving this thing. I'm not talking about women. I'm talking about both women and men. Walk away. It is not by force. It is not a do or die affair. Within the week, I've had so many stories, so many bitter stories that that is not even right. All just because they, they want to be in a relationship. I can't mention some of those things here. You guys know how YouTube works. I cannot mention some of those things there. But if I have opportunity to mention them, if I start saying it, them, you will not, it's not nice. You are not in a relationship to satisfy anybody. You are not in a relationship to satisfy anybody. If you're a guy and you have a lady that is that is toxic, that is not a, a toxic that does wants to always embarrass you or cause you shame or make you to depressed or make you to have feeling that what you know, make you uh, doing what you are not supposed to do, please, brother, end that relationship. It's not by force now. And as a woman, if you're in a relationship and you have a man who is jealous of your achievement, he is not supporting you, he does not support what you do, what you do is making him jealous because he feels that you're winning more than him, please, it is not by force. Take a walk. Do not say, oh, society will say this, family will say this, oh, this person will say that, they will talk. 
if you have a better relationship, if your relationship is so sweet, people will talk. If your relationship is not good, people will still talk. So why not do what pleases your heart and what will make you happy? I don't even know how people find themselves in this type of relationship. That is why I keep telling people, patience is a virtue. Do not say because your friend is married or because this person is married, you not see anybody that comes to you and you jump in. When you are in a relationship, watch the person you are going into relationship. If you are in a relationship with, and if you are in a relationship and the person will do, I'm going to repeat what I said. It's like my camera hung there. Let me repeat what I said again. If you are in a relationship and the person does not support what you do, please don't stay in that relationship. Don't think the person is going to change. You cannot change an adult. You cannot change an adult. If you are in a relationship and the person is jealous of what you do, instead of him being happy, knowing that you're also bringing the money into the family, you don't support your husband, husband, you don't support wife. Let's say in, in that relationship, you notice some certain things that he is not supporting you or, or she is not supporting you. Please do not enter. Do not think that that lady will change. Do not think that that man will change tomorrow. Your life is important. This life is once. Once you mess with it, you're not, gonna go, you're not going to go to the market and buy another one. Let us take care of ourselves. A relationship where your husband or your boyfriend does not support what you do, what are you doing with that person? A relationship where you notice that the person is jealous of your achievements instead of supporting you, praying with you, telling you it's going to be wonderful, sticking with you, knowing that all things are going to be fine. Please do not enter that relationship. If you're in a relationship with that lady and that woman is frustrating everything you're doing to make her happy, please walk away. If you are a lady and you are in a relationship and that man is always jealous of your achievement, he wants to control you, he wants to be in charge, he does not want to hear you when you speak, he does not want to support what you do, please walk away. It is not by force. It is not by force. It is not a do or die affair. Love is a beautiful thing that once you find yourself into it, you're supposed to be happy. You're supposed to enjoy yourself that you have someone who loves you, who supports you, who makes you happy. When you are in a relationship, I'm going to be stopping very soon. It's almost seven minutes. When you are in a relationship, it is not all about, oh, let me just go in because everybody is going in. And let me just get him because he has all the money on earth. Let me just do this because this is the... See, your happiness is very important. If he makes you happy, he supports what you do. You are very comfortable around you. People can gist anything. I mean, anything. He can tell you everything. People can just gist then that is the relationship you need in, to go into. People say, I want a, a God-fearing man. I think what you should be asking for is a man that knows God, a woman that knows God. If you know, if, you, if your partner knows God, he's going to be afraid of, of some of the, thing, of the things that pertains to God, knowing, fairly well, knowing very well that if he hurts you or if she hurts you, that God will be angry. So he will not, he or she will not want to hurt you. Okay, so get someone that knows God, get someone that fe that respects you as a woman, that makes you happy, somebody you can just anything with, somebody who is not a, 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 um, scared of your achievements, somebody who can sit down, plan something, make money for yourself, everybody is happy, a comfortable relationship, a good relationship, that is what we should be asking Heavenly Father. And when you have entered that relationship, do not just say, oh, I've gotten someone that makes me happy, someone that do this. No, know so that you're not the only person. Also know that you're not the only person that, um, that want that person. It is time for you to pray the more. You know, what happens to some of us is that once you go into a relationship, if you have gotten what you want, you just relax. Do not relax. It is time to pray the more, knowing that you have human and he can fall, and he can fall at any time. And anything can happen. So that is why you need to pray for your relationship. Pray the more. Pray for that relationship you are to. If you're watching this video, you'll be noticing. So look at it and listen to what I'm saying because the camera is hanging. I don't know what, why it's hanging, but I still need to do this video. And I'll post it like this. Whether it's hanging or it's not hanging, I'll still post it like this. Okay? So, just listen to what I'm saying and also pick one or two things from it that will help you. If you get that partner that loves you, that that does not allow public opinion or people will tell him, ah, this lady that you are going to marry or this lady that you are in a relationship with or this your wife. 
you know some of the things that cause this thing when people start bringing third party they allow what their friends tell them to start affecting their relationship if pray that you get a, a partner who will always stick to what he or she wants stick to her relationship pray the more a man who will make you happy you'll be comfortable you can share anything a man who is also involved in your business positively not somebody that threaten not somebody that is by your achievements do not settle for that okay please i want us to know that it is not a do or die affair it is not at all always put always put god first in whatever thing you do don't relax and say you've got on that perfect person that you just relax no keep praying and i know as as i've shared and we'll pick one or two things in this video the lord will help us and make our relationship perfect okay so i will be stopping here remember to share this video remember to subscribe if you have not you always stay true to yourself and have a beautiful and a lovely day bye bye